Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, so today is the day that I finally get to cut my hair. It is so long. I'm so excited and I'm kind of scared to be honest because I've had my hair long for the longest time already. So it's kind of scary because you know, what if I don't like it? What if I look weird? What if it doesn't suit me? But well, I mean, I have to do it at least once in my lifetime and see how it looks. You know, you never know if it actually looks good. And if it looks bad, it's fine fine my hair will grow back again i can wear extensions it doesn't matter either way i'm not gonna go very very short i'm gonna go short compared to how long my hair is but i would say it's more like short medium hair it's not necessarily like short short hair so i was gonna place my camera on the dashboard but you guys it doesn't want to stay i feel like this thing sucks i also even brought tape and it just won't stick so i don't know what to do this thing is just not it i need to find a better one i'll show you guys my little bag this bag was actually sent to me by teddy blake thank you so much to teddy blake for sponsoring today's video so as you guys can see this bag is actually extremely extremely cute i love the white of it the gold details that it has inside and it actually feels very very sturdy which i love so in the past i actually already collaborated with teddy blake which is why i accepted this other collaboration their bags are definitely amazing they have the best quality they're actually made in italy so they come from italy and they are very luxurious bags they actually have a lot of designs on their website so if you guys are interested in checking out their website i'm gonna go ahead and leave it down below you guys can also go ahead and subscribe to their newsletter because currently they are having a sale of up to 70 percent off on the website so make sure you guys click on their website it's gonna be down below and if you guys don't find anything that you guys are looking for you guys just wait because they actually add bags every few days this is how my bag looks like it is so cute and so tiny which is why i love it i love it especially for pictures i feel like it just looks so adorable it does have two zippers here and this big compartment i do carry this thing just in case one day i want to carry it on my shoulder but for now i really like just carrying it like this if you guys are wondering what i have inside my bag right now i just have my charger because i need to charge my phone and i have my mask you guys know essentials and i have I have a perfume which is this little sample I like to carry like the little samples that I get from Ulta as perfumes since they're so tiny and I have a headband for my hair I'm gonna go ahead and get on my way to the hairstylist because my appointment is actually at 4 30 so let's go guys we have a problem so I forgot my card so it is 4 5 and I have to run back I'm actually on my way to my house right now and get my card because I cannot believe I forgot it oh my god <laughs> So this is how I styled my hair. I kind of styled it like yesterday. I just went ahead and straightened it inwards and I tried my best. And for the little bangs, I did the same thing just like inwards. And this is today's OOTD. I'm just wearing these jeans from Pretty Little Thing. They're actually my favorite jeans. I love how they fit on the waist. And then same for the butt. They fit really nicely. I also love the color. They actually look like an actual jean color that is just, you know, overwashed. I don't know how to say it. And then I have this topper here. This one is also from Pretty Little Thing. It is just thin, just so you guys know. So I do have to wear a nude bra underneath. And then you have the little thingies here. And I love my hair. I just feel like it looks like kind of like i don't know the age like 90s inspired i don't know i just think it's really cute and i love the side view i just think it's like so short and cute so yeah now i'm just gonna go ahead and put on my shoes guys so we are ready to go the only thing about driving with you guys is that i can't play my music seatbelts on i tried styling my hair as much as i could hopefully i did a good job i feel like hers was a bit more voluminous oh my god i should have seen it yesterday the way she did my hair it was amazing and that makes me believe that i need a blow dryer in my life I'm go ahead and back up because i feel like it's really dark in here 
but I really wanted to show my you my hair and I just can't, it won't stay there. Okay, so it won't stay, but this is how my hair looks and I feel like it looks so cute. I mean, I feel like I've showed it to you guys a bunch of times. So what I mainly asked for is in the back, I wanted a U-cut. I did not want, to, for sure, I did not want to have just a straight blunt cut. I wanted a U-cut, more soft similar to like a v-cut but a very soft v-cut so it's kind of like a u-cut um i also wanted layers but i wanted minimal layers i didn't want too many layers up here just because i'm so used to having my hair really flat you know so what if i don't like it i'm a scary cat like that i don't take risks so i just go ahead and ask for mini layers here at the bottom and i really like them i'm going to show you guys some photos of the inspo and the photos that i actually showed her for my bangs i actually i feel like they look very similar to curtain bangs but I did not ask for curtain bangs um, because I wasn't sure if I wanted those. But I feel like now they look like curtain bangs. I don't know. I mainly just told her, again, pictures. I feel like those pictures kind of are like curtain bangs. But I don't want to mention it. And I just told her the length. Like, should I just leave you guys there? I don't know if that's a weird angle. It's going to fall again. I'm pretty sure it's going to fall. Um, but like I said, this is my hair. And I feel like it looks really cute. And I feel like it looks more simplistic on me. And I look more casual. It's definitely a lot more effortless. And I can move a lot more. I feel like with my long hair, I constantly have to be like fixing it. And having it straight here. And then the back same. And now I can just like, you know, move. And it's still looking good. So I love that. I'm excited. The only bad thing is i feel like it's like very exactly like where i wanted it that i'm sure that in a month and a half or a month it's gonna be a bit too long and it's gonna be like in that awkward stage so i might not like it so i might have to get a haircut again so i might be getting it shorter i might just actually like it a bit longer i don't know what i'm gonna do for now it is 248 at 250 i'm gonna go ahead and pick up my sister like i told you guys and as much as i really want to drive with you guys i just can't my thingy won't stay there and it kind of sucks. For my hair, I actually curled it in. I feel like it's falling. You see, I feel like with a blow dryer, it would stay a lot longer. But I tried to just curl it in. And then my bangs, same. I curled them in instead of up. It's going to fall. It's going to fall. My camera is literally... I'm going to end up breaking it one day. It's going to fall. Ah! No! Imagine I actually broke it. I haven't checked it. It's, isn't this like the best angle of me? I feel like that angle is just amazing on me. I wanted to tell you guys of a little story of when I was doing my hair. I'm so sorry that I actually didn't vlog my hair that much. As you guys know, I got there literally on time. So when I got there and I was getting my bag and my camera, the girl was already like opening the door. So I'm like, oh my God, trying to hurry up. And then I go in and then she tells me to sit on the chair really quickly, you know. And then... Again, she asked me what I want, so I completely forgot to vlog. I even wanted to take a before and after picture, and I didn't have the time. I completely forgot, and I'm so sad because I really wanted a before picture, and I don't have any. That's what happened, and then midway, I kind of remember that I wanted to vlog. And I wanted to vlog, but... You know, when you're getting a haircut, I feel like it's different than dyeing your hair. You're just stuck, like, at a position because you can't move. So I couldn't get my camera and just, like, you know, vlog. And I wasn't in front of the mirror. She kind of had me sideways. So it was just completely hard to vlog, honestly. Once she actually, like, washed it and then styled it, that is the moment when I finally saw the result because I didn't see it midway. And that's when I fell in love because I actually asked for this and she gave me this. Going in. Cause yeah, I was gonna stop reading. Supposed to be my videographer. I'm getting paid for this. I'm not getting paid. <laughs> you guys give it a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i guess i will be seeing you guys on my next video